Good morning. Ooh. Kanye, how you doing, man? This is reality. This is this is the real thing going on. This is, uh, you know, what I'm saying. I don't, I don't, I don't need all the jazz. Oh, well, it's it's gonna be one of those kind of calls, huh? I was calling to get your opinion on those Supreme tees that are releasing this week. I think it's the bravery that helps you beat this game called life. Did you like them or did you not like them? I don't really say dope. I don't say negative words. We try to flip them. We just say positive, lovely, divine, universal words. I was asking about the T-shirt. It's called the Yeezy. Yep. Oh, okay, I got you. Bro, we brainwashed out here, bro. No, that's important. You think racism could control me? And I don't answer this, questions boys and girls, and is why you, you never call Kanye West. I feel like I'm chosen. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're going to talk about Supreme's Week 7. That's right, we got fall, winter t-shirts coming your way. Settle down. They are bringing us eight different t-shirts this week. Who knows how many different colorways of each. I don't think it's the best collection of t-shirts that we've seen, like, ever, but... It's, it's not bad. They also have a couple of decks releasing this week and the Supreme James brand cachet to put all the free toothpicks in. What kind of crack dealer method is that? Oh, here, take the toothpicks for free. You want to be able to carry them around? $44. You have noticed that for logic. Before I go over those items and everything else on the drop list, I want to make sure that you guys are members of the Fauntleroy's Finest Discord. Larry's Streetwear Calendar gives you dates and links to everything that's dropping throughout the week. The New Wave Lee always shares any raffles that he finds throughout the internet. Manny gives us a list of all the shoes that are dropping throughout the month. And we have the best botter in all of the land running an ace channel just for members of the discord and of course there's Efren. he's creepy best of all the price is free so what do you got to lose come on down and obviously if you enjoy these videos please throw a like on this one and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet why not I mean come on come on to play all right, enough about that stuff. Let's get into the drop. First up, we have this Neo Blender Arrow 6 panel. Now, they've snuck in a Neo Blender collaboration with this t-shirt week. Ho, 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 ho. Delightfully devilish. We're getting a hat. We're getting a deck. We're getting the long sleeve. And honestly, I dig the graphic on the hat. Not really sure why it's so low. It doesn't really have a Supreme logo blasted upon it, so maybe that's the reason it's so low. I suppose that means it's a personal, but I think it's kind of cool. I kind of dig this hat. What, what, what's the problem? Next up, we have the crushed velvet track pant. This kind of feels like the type of thing that you would want to donate to the Ukrainian effort. I feel like this is really an Eastern European outfit. If you like to go to clubs in Romania, that are blasting 90s techno music. This probably is part of your outfit. But otherwise, let's keep going. Next up, we have these micro down pants. These look really cool, honestly. I, I kind of dig these. In my opinion, $188 is kind of a lot for these particular pants. And if you get the white ones and they get to you fast enough, you could totally be the Supreme Michelin Man for Halloween. Other than that, again, let's keep going. Next up, we have this crushed velvet track jacket. Honestly, the pants are better than this jacket. I, I That thing's awful. I, oh my god. This feels like a landmine that Tremaine left behind for them to have to put out. In all honesty, the black one is not that bad, but uh, I'm, it's not for me. Maybe for you, not for me. Next up, this Neo Blender Mosaic Skateboard. This is a different graphic from the shirt and the hat and everything else. If you're a Neo Blender fan, then it's a must grab. But if you're like 99% of the rest of the world, let's keep going. Ouch, town population, you bro! Next up, our first tee, the weather tee. After I've been able to look at the graphics zoomed in, I think this is a really good tee. I love the weather map that just says everywhere is shitty. I feel like that deep red of Florida might be the shittiest of all. Best thing about this tee as well is that it's $40. It's the cheapest price point of t-shirts. I think the black colorway in XL, XXL could be okay. But again, there's no real big flashy Supreme, Supreme, Supreme all over it. So 
at the end of the day, it might be one of the ones to skip. But again, I kind of like it, so, you know. Make up your mind! Next up, the Neo Blender Mosaic Hoodie. It's the same graphic that's on the skateboard. Again, if you're a fan of this guy, then you're gonna love this sweatshirt. But if you're not, then let's keep going. Next up is this Mutants Tee. Uh, I think we all thought it was gonna be a H.R. Geiger image. Drops had found an image in that guy's old stuff that was called Mutants, and I think that that's what we all thought we were getting. That's not what this is. Not really sure what's on this t-shirt. I don't really like it. I don't really see any resale in it. It does have a nice big backsplash though. I do like the supreme text on the back, but other than that, I think just skip this one. It's just a personal. It's a shame. Just a shame. Next up, the pound tee. Um, I'm in the same boat. We actually saw a tee very similar to this, that like Everlast ripoff logo thing that's on the website still. I think this particular graphic is really muddy as well. The Supreme doesn't really stick out from the border around it that well. Unless it's something that you like and you wanna buy it for yourself, I would be skipping this one as well. And this static tee looks like they're trying to relive some old Yoji Yamamoto stuff that just ain't reaching the finish line. It's a race to the finish. Just not a big fan, so I'm gonna say the same thing. If you like it for yourself, grab it, but otherwise, next up. Next up, the small box ribbed sweater. I mean, I guess the striped one is unique. I don't really think it's gonna sell out even, so it'll be there if you want it. Let's keep going. So you're telling me there's a chance. Next up, the micro down half zip pullover. I believe they make one of these every season, at least every fall winter season. I mean, if you get the pants that we talked about before, then yeah, I think you need to get that jacket too to make the whole outfit. That's the Michelin man look. Otherwise, I, I really don't see these uh, popping off that much. So let's keep on moving along. Crap on top of crap on top of crap on top of crap. Uh, next up we have this thermal sleeve work shirt. I actually think this is a pretty good work shirt. Feels like you're getting two shirts in one, but you're not. You're faking everybody out. I kind of dig the brown and black Black versions of this shirt. There could be some sneaky resale in bigger sizes of this particular shirt, but I would probably be thinking of this one as a personal as well. Next up, we have the Neo Blender Long Sleeve Aero Tee. Uh, I, I like this graphic. I said it on the hat. I'm gonna say it again on the long sleeve. I don't really see any resale in this one either. Again, not a really big branded piece. Just something neat, just a cool personal. But you know who sucks most? You do. Next up, the Hell Skateboard Deck. Uh, I like this deck. What can I say? I think this is a good deck. $78 price point? Don't really like that that much. I just don't really see much of a market with decks nowadays. And they've upped the price point on them so much that you're gonna have to get like 120, 150 to even make it worthwhile to pick up a deck for reselling. Sounds good, doesn't work. Next up, this Elf short sleeve top. I dig it. This is another one I hope is kind of available after the drop. The $88 price point pretty much keeps it strictly into personal land in my opinion but it is a really cool shirt. Next up, the Arabic logo camp cap. I think a lot of folks are talking about this particular camp cap. It's not really gonna be everybody's cup of tea. The one thing I do have to say is this camp cap has some pretty good colors going for it. If you're wanting to pick it up for some resale down the road, I would say the black is, is the safest bet, but you can probably pick up two, so throw in one of the other cool colorways as well. <laughs> Next up we have the split short sleeve top. Not really a huge fan of this one, although it does have a gigantic spell out. That black colorway, because it's not split, it's just black on black, that could be a nice little pickup. Maybe the bigger sizes do well, XXL, XL. Again, the $88 price point really hurts any resale potential in these premium tees. But who knows, that black one could be a little sneaky thing to gamble on, but I would not recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up we have the Hell Tee. Now, I dig this t-shirt. does have the premium price point at $48. If you're picking up t-shirts, this one could be a good little gamble. XL, XXL in black, like always. I think the black colorway of this shirt has the potential to definitely sell out, and it really wouldn't deal with any of the other colorways for resale. Stick with the black one, XXL, XL, and let it be. Take it easy, champ. Why don't you stop talking for a while? And here we go, we have the Supreme James brand cachet. So they gave us all a bunch of free toothpicks, right? And then they come out with this little thing to put your toothpicks in. Now everybody's gonna need to get the little thing to put the toothpicks in so they can be cooler than you. I'm with it. I'm hip. 
it's definitely a neat little piece. A $44 price point seems very high for something that's like a toothpick holder, but it's actually a little bit cheaper than I thought it would be. Uh, I see something very similar on that brand's website for $59. Could be we're getting bad information about the price point on this thing. Either way, it's kind of a drug dealer move to give you a little bit of the product and then they show you the good stuff and you gotta pay for it. I think it's way too expensive to have any resell, but I do think it's a really cool item, and I do think it probably will sell out because of the price point. Especially with any of the folks that ended up getting toothpicks. I know they were kind of rare to come by. That's Big. fucking rare. Next up, the Mont Blanc tea. Fuck, I thought this was talking about those pens. Nope. It's about some old-ass German mountain climbing movie. If it wasn't for the new Wave Lee, I, I would have never known. It's a nice, big, giant, supreme spell out. I, I kind of like it, the black on the red. I expected text to have different colors on different colorways of the t-shirts. <clears throat> so it should be interesting to see how some of the different colorways look. Maybe there's other ones that look good. But for now, for what we've seen, the black one, that is going to do really well. I, I have faith in this black colorway for sure. Next up is the American Psycho T. Now that American Psycho collaboration did really well. And this week we're gonna get the T that kind of went along with it. I believe that any of these colorways can look good. I really dig this mustard colorway. I don't think I've ever said that before, but I'm saying it now. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my God, it even has a watermark. I think this shirt could do well in black, mustard, maybe even the red. Obviously, if you're reselling it, black colorways, XL, XXL, I think this is a good one to pick up, and it also makes a really cool personal. This confession has meant nothing. And the number one item of the week this week is a fighter tee. The graphic from this fighter tee comes from a game called Def Jam Fight for New York, and this was the graphic that they had on the cover of the game. They added the little Supreme on this guy's hoodie for this particular picture. I think it's a pretty good graphic. Uh, I definitely like this charcoal tee. The black tee probably will look okay too. I definitely see this shirt doing well. Again, Target XL, XXLs in the black colorway. This charcoal colorway looks really good as well. I really need to see this on other colorways before I can really comment on them, but I know black and I know charcoal are gonna do really good in this t-shirt. This isn't over until I say it's over! All right guys, there you go. Week seven, not a bad week, if I must say. This is terrible. We have like four very usable t-shirts this week. And I think that little cachet is, is, is kind of cool as well. This is kind of a low-end good week, but I'll still stamp it with good. Skip, 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 skip. I personally am not going to be able to be around for the drop. Not sure if I'm going to be able to cop anything or not this week. I have to go to work. <laughs> sucks mediocre at best but let me know in the comments down below what you guys are gonna go after what t-shirt is your favorite what colorways are you looking forward to most who's picking up a cachet i don't care thank you guys for watching and if for some reason this video did not give you the fill of fauntleroy that you need in your life today well then you should check out these videos right here personal worth is not what a person is worth i could give a dollar to every person on earth man it's gotta be god's plan